Hello, this is Michael, Michael Ratcliffe, and in this video blog, we're going to discuss pH buffers. Now, in my main system in the greenhouse behind me, I use liquid chemical pH buffers because they're cheap uh, to find in England. But a lot of this work is, uh, I plan to implement it in countries like Africa where obtaining chemicals isn't going to be as easy. So, there is a, a natural pH change that we can use. And it's a mixture of ground up eggshells, how to make it's in the link below, and potassium bicarbonate, both easy to source things worldwide. It's a powdered form, um, and anyone can get eggshells. Uh, Paolo of the Aquaponics Lab supplied me with this powder, and I'm doing a little bit of work with him. Now if you don't know who Paolo is, I'll be doing a quick video blog with him sometime in the next two weeks, hopefully if he's willing because he's doing some great work in the same area where I am. Um, so this is a mechanical feeder. We showed you how to make this when did, uh, making an auger-based delivery system for fish pellets. So today we're just going to see how well it works with delivering this powder. Usually you'd have this connected to a 12 volt battery, but today, because I've not got a 12 volt battery, a 12 volt power source, we're going to be using this 12 volt LiPo instead. So when I power up, the auger should turn and deliver this powder into the Right, so there you go. I probably skipped the video so you didn't have to see it all going down. It was a bit boring to watch, but all we need to know is that it did in fact deliver all of it. Now if you look, this powder's pretty uh, water-like, fluid-like, sorry. Um, I'll be running some proper tests in, in the greenhouse just behind me with this because when this powder gets a little bit damp, um, it can clog up and turn into a solid so I'm just going to check that's not a problem and if it is a problem an upcoming blog will cover how to overcome it. Um, if you want to make this feeder for delivering feed, uh, fish feed any well you can use it to deliver anything check out the blog at element 14 there'll also be a link on element 14 for Paolo's link on how to make uh, make this easily and cheaply. Um, in one of the upcoming blogs there'll be a Arduino based pH controller so this is mechanical portion but now we need to think of a good way to control it so that'll be in an upcoming blog so keep watching my